Hello and welcome to Survey to Go. In the next video, I'm going to show you about the piping method. The piping method is used in order to pipe text objects, whether inside a question body or inside a question's answers, according to a specific text, which can be also an answer of a question. So uh, the next uh, example contains a few complicated scripts, but don't worry, it will be pretty understandable. Okay, so in the first question, I ask, which of these channels do you watch daily? And I would like the answer to be piped directly to the question, to the next question in its body, as you see here. This is the place locator. This will contain the answer that we'll choose in question 9. In order to do it, we need to enter a start script which says set text format in the current question and the text will be selected answer text of question 9 and the true value here is just in order to verify that if other specify was chosen here and I would enter some uh, random text so uh, the true will verify that it will choose also the text that was en entered inside. So let's see an, an example. Okay, let's say that I chose the following channels. As you can see, in the next question, it will pipe the answers that I chose. You said you watch GBS TV, NTV, Family TV, MTV Daily. Why is that? Uh, this happened because we used the set text format method in the current question, pipe the selected answer text of question 9, and the true value is just in order for uh, the other specified text to be inserted also. Okay, so let's continue. So in the next question, I chose a question and I wrote, uh, and which one is your favorite, favorite channel? So here the script is a bit complicated, but I'll try to explain it anyway. Okay, so uh, as you remember from the previous video was the filter answers by answers method. So I used it also here and I told it to filter answers by answers of the current question according to the answers of question 9, which I asked which TV channels do you watch. And then I entered a script which is a bit complicated, but I'm sure you can understand the principles of it. If question 9 contains answer 12 which is the other specify as you can see I entered a place locator inside the answer itself so if question 9 contains an other specify I want the set answer text format method to place in the place locator in the current question in answer number 12 the additional text of question 9. Additional text is a method that gets the text which was written in the other specify box. So this is why is it. If question 9 does not contain answer 12, which is the other specify, go to the else and set answer visible of the current question answer 12 false. Basically what I wanted to do is if in question 9 I had another specify, show it here and write the text of the other specify instead of the place locator. This is the set answer text format. If it didn't have an other specify, just hide this answer. Okay. In the next question, I asked what is the type of TV shows you watch the most on a place locator and this place locator I'm gonna pipe a text object which will be uh, as you can see I'm using the set text format in order to pipe in the questions body and the questions answers as you can remember it's set answer text format 
So I'm using the set text format in the current question and the selected answer text of question 11 which I asked what is your favorite TV channel. My favorite TV channel will be piped in here. And the next one will be just a moment. Um, you said that your favorite channel is a place locator and your favorite type of shows are another place locator. As you can see the index is just going up from 0 to 1, 2, 3, etc. Could, uh, could you please tell me which statement is the most correct about you? So I just placed place locators and the answers 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and the same in the question body. So actually um, as you can see I entered a method here set text format in the current question place the selected answer text of question 11 which is this one, my favorite channel, in the first place locator. The first parameter will be the first place locator and the second will be the second one and this is how it goes. In the second place locator put the selected answer text of question 12. So this will take care of the questions body, those two place locators. But here I used a loop in order to set the text also inside the answers. So uh, the loop might uh, look a bit weird for you, but I will explain. So actually I said I must be um, smaller than 5 or equal to. And each iteration it enlarges by 1. So uh, at the first iteration it will be equal to 1. So will say set answer text format in the current question in answer number i which in the first iteration will be one the first answer the selected answer text of question 12 the selected answer text of question 11 in the second place locator and then it will continue in the second iteration it will be the second answer in the third it will be the third in the fourth it will be the fourth in the fifth it will be the fifth and when I will be equal to six this will not be failed anymore and the loop will stop but uh, maybe it's a bit complicated so ju let's just see an example from the beginning okay so as you can remember uh, I'm gonna choose the channels I watch and they will be piped to the next questions body you said you watch NTV, Family TV, KBC, MTV Daily why is that? okay just choose some answer this question is not very important and which one is your favorite? here as you can see I use the filter answers by answers to get only the answers I chose and here I had a place locator which has been piped with MTV which I entered in the other specify okay let's say KBC is my favorite uh, what is the type of TV shows you watch the most on KBC I had here a place locator and it was piped with the previous questions answer so let's say I use here entertainment and now this is the cool effect that the loop the complicated loop I showed you will bring us you said that your favorite channel is KBC and your favorite type of shows are entertainment could you please tell me which statement is the most correct about you I watch entertainment shows on KBC in the morning as you can see on each answer the the text objects from the previous questions which is entertainment and KBC are piped this is because I use the set answer text format with a loop to run on each different answer so this is a pretty cool and very 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 useful uh, method in order to also decrease the the size of your scripting and also to get your survey much more efficient and uh, nice so uh, that's it for
piping methods.